I'm Darren, and here's three things to know for September 7th, 2023. Southwest United and Alaska Air Group all warn of higher fuel costs in this quarter as crude oil prices continue to rise for the third month in a row in August. United said jet fuel prices have climbed over 20% since mid-July. Google is facing its biggest legal hurdle ever. They're preparing to face the Justice Department and a group of states in federal court next week that claim that Google has abused its monopolistic power to keep its search on top. Alphabet, Amazon, Meta, Microsoft, and ByteDance have a new title, Gatekeeper. It's not a compliment. The European Union lists the companies in its Digital Markets Act, which seeks to encourage greater competition and choices in the digital world. Trade while you sleep and across time zones with Arbitrage Trade Assist. Sign up today at arbitragetrade.com. Arbitrage is your trusted source for business and finance and tech info. Why was the basketball court all wet? Because the players kept dribbling on it. The dad joke. <laughs> Corny, groan worthy, but also one of the simplest ways to share a moment with your kids. What did the buffalo say when he dropped his son off for school? Bye, son. So take a moment to make your kid laugh, because dad jokes rule. Make your kid laugh today. Go to fatherhood.gov. Brought to you by the U.S. Department of Health and Human Services and the Ad Council. Medicaid, not for all. Need help with your Medicaid coverage? Too bad. Noted in August of this year, 16 states have called time so long that they have received warning from federal Medicaid officials. The ramifications of this issue may not be completely obvious either. Persons in need of coverage may not be able to receive it in a timely manner because they are unable to get help. The less obvious impacts are on those who work or have to care for others in the household. If a call center has a significant wait, anything else the caller is doing is put on pause. The caller then has to make a choice, resume their activity and hang up, or hope said activity can hold out long enough for them to get help with their Medicaid enrollment. Are there any solutions to the wait times or anything someone who has been removed from Medicaid can do? Currently, there are no solutions to the wait times, but there have been suggestions ranging from a call backlog, where you can save your place in line and the call center calls you back, to a tracker that shows the user what the wait times are, where they are in line, and what they need to do in order to keep their coverage. Nearly one in two U.S. adults have high blood pressure. That's why it's important to self-monitor your blood pressure in four easy-to-remember steps. It starts with a monitor. Be next to talk to your doctor about your blood pressure numbers. Get down with your blood pressure. Self-monitoring is power. Visit ManagerBP.org. Brought to you by the Ad Council, the American Heart Association, and the American Medical Association. In partnership with the Office of Minority Health and Health Resources and Services Administration. The pick of the day is Allergene Therapeutics Incorporated, stock ticker ALLO. Our world-class algorithm has put an upward signal on ALLO in the upcoming days. The company focuses on the development of genetically engineered allogeneic T-cell product candidates for the treatment of cancer. In their last earnings release, ALLO had a beat on earnings per share by just under 11% and a beat on revenue by over 141%. Arbitrage Trade Analytics LLC is a privately held research company. Arbitrage Trade Analytics LLC is solely responsible for the preparation and distribution of the contents of this podcast. The opinions offered in this podcast are for informational purposes only and are not intended to function as investment advice. Seek a duly licensed professional for investment advice. For more information about the informational research and services offered by Arbitrage Trade Analytics LLC, please visit arbitragetrade.com.